There's another story we're following right now. I want to bring in Brian Todd. It involves satellites actually colliding in space uh, with debris fragments. Brian, they, they could pose some significant problems. That's right, Wolf. That's uh, according to some new information we're getting. We are told the three main orbits of Earth, as illustrated by this graphic, are jam-packed with satellites and debris. Still, officials say they could not have predicted a violent incident recently in space that we are getting some new information about. U.S. officials tell CNN this collision between an American and a Russian satellite in space, illustrated here with CNN's own animation, brought together the force of two objects, each weighing more than 1,000 pounds, at a speed of more than 20,000 miles an hour. That's around six miles a second. An outside expert tells us just how violent this silent impact was. It would have created thousands of pieces of debris uh, that would have scattered in many different directions within a general orbital plane. U.S. and Russian officials tell us Tuesday's incident, the largest accidental collision ever, took place about 500 miles above Siberia and produced two large clouds of debris. The American vehicle was operated by Iridium, a satellite phone company. CNN is one of its clients. The Russian military satellite had been non-functional for 12 years. A Russian analyst was asked about the odds of this happening. I think it's about one one thousandth or even millionth of one percent, but nevertheless, it did happen. Officials say the debris poses an elevated risk, but not a serious threat to the International Space Station, which now carries two Americans and a Russian. One reason the risk is not more serious is because the collision took place several hundred kilometers above the space station's orbit. But experts say all orbital paths around Earth are getting far too crowded. The debris in space is far greater than I think a lot of us perceive, and we're certainly learning that lesson now because, in fact, you live with the fact that close into Earth orbit, there are many more spacecraft, you're moving far more rapidly, there's a far greater potentiality of collision. We're talking tens of thousands of pieces of debris, plus satellite and rocket parts strewn all over the Earth's orbit, and the impact of any collision could be devastating. One U.S. military official told me a piece of debris the size of a paint chip could significantly damage a space shuttle because of the speeds involved, Wolf. And as you can see, they are all over the Earth's orbit. What a story. All right, thanks very much, Brian, for that. Uh, it's been the